praise the lord father we praise your name we magnify your name we thank you lord because you are god you are worthy to be praised you are god and there is no one like you we praise you father for your loving kindness we give you praise almighty god for you reign it let the earth tremble and so father this morning we we'll come to you lord in the sincerity of hearts and in the place of prayer and worship and we ask lord god that you will fill us up this morning with more of you lord kindle in us the love for you that by your word we shall live and move and have our being this is our prayer and so shall it be in jesus name we have prayed Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So this morning we'll be talking about lasting peace. Lasting peace. And to help us in this discussion, we're going to be reading from Romans chapter 5. Romans chapter 5. If you have the time, you can read from verse 1 all the way to 11. But for this text, we're going to be looking at Romans chapter 5 verse 1 and verse 2 verse 1 and verse 2 of romans chapter 5 hallelujah we're reading from the new international version romans chapter 5 1 and 2 i said therefore since we have been justified through faith we have peace with god through our lord jesus christ through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand and we boast in the hope of the glory of God praise the Lord therefore since we have been justified by faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ you know when Jesus breathed on his disciples after he rose up from the dead he said something profound he said peace I give to you not like the word give it that peace was an invitation to me, to you, for us to enter into the rest of God. Hallelujah. See, God gives us peace. He's the basis. is the source of peace. And many of us today are looking for peace. We are looking for joy. Some of us think it can be found in addictive substances. Some of us think that peace and joy can be found in those perverted and deranged sexual activities that we have gotten ourselves into. Some think that peace and joy is found in premarital or extramarital sexual affairs. Hallelujah. In short, for many, acquiring wealth and material possession is where they are found or supposedly think that peace can be found hallelujah now peace cannot be found in power it cannot be found in popularity it is not in the place of prestige these things only will bring us temporal peace and joy eventually a day will come when that peace and joy will be shattered and our lives will be destroyed as a result. Now, beloved, there is therefore only one source of peace and joy. That source is God. It's our source. It's our summit. It's our purpose. It's our everything. God gives us peace that passes all understanding. And He gives us joy that is unspeakable and full of glory why is this so because that scripture we read in verse 1 and verse 2 says therefore since we have been justified through faith we have peace with god through our lord jesus christ it's clear through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand you know by faith we break into this place of peace with god but by sin and disobedience to God's word, we are separated from God and a gap thus exists. Now, you see, the thing is this, God loves us so much, but sin separates a people, a person from God. So, 
His love cannot reach us because our sin takes us away from Him. It takes us away from His presence. And what Jesus has done is to bridge that gap, is to cover that gap that our sin has brought, to fill that void so that we can by faith, as verse 2 says, even verse 1, by faith, stand on God's grace and enjoy the eternity of his presence with his peace itself. Hallelujah. Praise God. You see, beloved, God has made a way for us to have peace with him through our Lord Jesus Christ. It's all through Jesus. In verse 6 to 10 of that same Romans chapter 5, we see an evidence of this when, when, when we are told clearly that God has demonstrated his love for us by sending Christ to die for us. Even while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. It becomes, therefore, very important for us to understand that in saving us from the power of sin, God gives to us, imparts on us, his life and he sanctifies us. He takes us away from being captive to sin, like we discussed yesterday. And we enter into a new realm where God is our purpose, he is our life, he is our all and all. Listen, beloved, peace and lasting peace has a price. It costs Jesus' his life. It will cost you some friendships. Yes, it will mean you need to cut away from some things. There is a cost for lasting peace. There is a cost. See, Jesus wants us to come to terms with the fact that if we compromise the truth, has revealed to us in scripture the peace for all time for us for our family will be lost to us praise God see in Luke chapter 12 49 to 53 Jesus talked about what he has come to he said I have come to undergo a baptism he said baptism I must undergo and how distressed I am until it is accomplished. He talked about the fact that he did not come to bring peace. He came to cause division because you know why? The coming of our Lord Jesus was not just to bring that peace that surpassed all understanding. It was because there was a cost to it. There was a cost to it. There was a cost because in following the way of the cross, we must deny self. We must deny person. We must deny ourselves and follow God. And that's why this morning you need to take up your cross and follow Christ. Because cut off from him you can do nothing. So we ask this morning that you want the lasting peace and you need to embrace Jesus in all entirety and run the race with him by your side, with him in you, with him above you, around you, and always with you. You want to make that decision? Call the numbers on the screen. I'll be there to pray with you, to support you at Christ lead the way. God bless you, now and always, in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm.